today than I had wanted to. I got home at like 6.15, it's currently 7. I got home later because I had an IEP meeting after school and then I had a meeting with like the team to talk about a meeting with another parent that we need to schedule and meet with them because, you know, gotta talk about their kid and stuff. So, uh, I didn't get on the train until 5 and I got home at 6.15 so it was definitely a longer day and now next week Thursday it looks like it's going to be a longer day as well. So on Thursdays now I'm part of the NEST meetings which is, um, uh, they're the NEST team or nest kids is a is like kids with autism and other things like that so i am joining the nest meetings on thursday they're going to be bi-weekly so every other thursday i will have the nest meeting and that's next thursday and then after that we're going to have a parent meeting because the parent that we needed to meet with said they're not available until 4 30 so the nest meeting goes till four anyway might as well stay that half an hour extra and then wait to meet with the parent so it, so i don't have to wait like after school one day after like 2 45 and then wait till 4 30 this way like it's meeting meeting and then home um it's just i think it's easier that way but thursday next week means it's gonna be just like a really late night so that's not too fun but it's fine you do what you gotta do another thing guys i did the shake break song today in the class the double period and it didn't go too bad. I was so happy. It was a shorter one. I chose like the Elmo one and that one was like a minute. I chose the Elmo one because one, I they I heard them talking about the Cookie Monster the other day. I was like, okay, so they like the Cookie Monster. So I figured they, wa they watch like Sesame Street or used to and they like, they're fine with Elmo and stuff. So I did that Shake Break song, but that one was only like a minute long. And I also chose it because it was only a minute long because I didn't know how the kids are gonna react to it. You know, some kids didn't even want to get up to do this um most kids did though so that was good and then they complained after that it was too short and then some of them were like oh why well, we gotta get up and then and other kids were just like oh we did this like in second grade or blah 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 like i'm trying to how let them get up and have a little fun to take a break so they're not sitting at their desks and just focus the whole entire time i was trying to have fun and then like some kids are just like you know totally butchering it but it's fine most kids loved it and so now i know for next time now that we can get them from like fun to focus and it wasn't too bad we could um do a longer one next time so i picked out another one as well and i like the more structured ones i don't like the ones where it's just a song then the kids dance i like the ones where they're still structured so you have like the video that the kids are watching they all follow along and it tells you what to do so whether you're shaking jumping or putting your hand in your hand out you know like the hokey pokey or whatever so i like the more more structured one so that there's still some kind of structure for the kids so that they still know they need to follow this so they're not just like running around the room and doing crazy things you know if they were just to have like a regular song on I don't want them you know to still go too crazy but I want them to still be able to have that fun and you know get that break and get those get that energy back and get like ready to uh, focus again so it was good though i was really proud of how well that went considering it was their first time in this classroom and i was really happy with that also the one of the students that i printed out like this coloring thing for um with some multiplication facts she finished it today and i was so proud of her and she got really excited as she finished it and i was just really proud of her she was really really good today and normally you know we have a lot of trouble with her but she was amazing today for the most part like she was really good she was on task she was doing her work she was drawing and coloring and practicing her multiplication facts so it was really good we did all that today it was just, it was a pretty good day i was really happy with it and i was a little afraid because that same student that was amazing in math today apparently was so bad in science and i felt so bad that i wasn't in science today on fridays i don't have any science classes they still go on it's just that I'm not in them and I felt so bad for like that teacher like she had a really really difficult time with that student and she really needs that extra support of me in the classroom but I'm scheduled for math so I don't know if I can maybe like talk to the assistant principal maybe because she could like switch something around I felt like really bad but I also told the science teacher I was like you know maybe I could talk to also the math teacher and if you want to do like a break in your class because I'm never with her like for double periods for the science teacher so I was like you know if you ever want to do it 
Um, maybe I could talk to the math teacher again. I, I could step out for a little bit. We could do the shake break song, get the kids to focus again, and then I could go back to math. But that way, there would be the extra support of the teacher in the classroom, and I could help out to get the kids like back um, focused and everything on their work. But that way, they still get that fun little break in between. So, okay. Now, the next plan is for me to go out because I just want guac and chips. I don't know what's been with me in guac lately, but I've been loving guac and chips. So I just want some guac and chips and I would like a Malibu Bay Breeze. But quickly, let me show you guys my outfit because I'm about to change into something more weekend-like, something kind of hotter. Um, I don't know if I'm going out again later, so I'm going out to dinner, um, kind of dinner and a drink with my boyfriend now, and then after maybe I'm going out for drinks with his friends and stuff too. But here's my outfit today, just like these skinny, um, dress pants, and this top that I have from Loft, it's just like a flowy nice top, and the sleeves go down too if I wanted them, like long sleeves, but plain, um, and I was wearing booties, but it was, it was a good outfit today. Wait, right, Mr. Kuba. Yeah, he was so excited to see me today, guys. You guys have no idea. He was so happy. And I love that he's just been sleeping with me all day long. And he cuddles with me. Oh, he's been the sweetest thing all week, guys. He's been the sweetest. Okay, guys, I just changed, but I forgot to tell you, I talked to the payroll secretary at my school today, and she said she's been, like, calling them trying to figure this whole thing out anyway. Um, but I went over to her to ask her about something else, but she started talking about this, and I was like, okay. Um, so she was telling me about it, and she said that this paycheck was supposed to, um, she thinks, be accurate now. So at first they said October 30th or mid-November, but she said now that this one should have been accurate because she's spoken to them so many times. Um... But I just looked at it and it's only for two weeks. I don't know if I could cash it because now that means I'm not paid I wasn't paid for my first week there just the past two weeks, but I've been working totally for um, Not totally. I've been working total for three weeks now and so that's missing a whole week of pay um, So I don't really know what's happening. I will talk to her on Monday I'm not even gonna bother cashing it or anything I'm just gonna like wait and see and talk to the payroll secretary on Monday to figure this out because I have no idea what's happening. But quickly, here is my outfit. I've been dying to wear this top. I bought it months ago and I just didn't know where to wear it. So I'm wearing a bralette under here um, and I'm wearing my harem pants with a belt and I think it just looks so cute. This top is from Rainbow, I think, or Forever 21. It's one or the other one. I put my hair up in a clip because I don't feel like doing anything fancy and I just put some hoop earrings on and now I'm wearing a choker with like this moon. I will have this linked down below and I will have everything linked down below that I could find. If I could find something similar, I will also link it down below and just write that it's similar. But if I can't, well, then you're just gonna have to do your search on your own. But definitely check the description box below because I'll try to link as much as I can. I scooped up Andre. <laughs> He's getting the key right now. We're gonna take his uh, parents' car. Um, I don't wanna drive because I never drive. Even if I'm just having like one little drink and waiting, like I don't like to drive even after any drink that I've had. Even if it could be like 2% and I still don't wanna drive after. I just don't wanna take that risk. But Andre is gonna drive and we're gonna go have some guac and chips and a Malibu baby. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Having a Malibu Bay Breeze, totally forgot to vlog until now. We killed like all of our chips already, but chips, guac, it's kind of on the spicier side, but it's fine. Andre has a margarita. Hi, babe. <laughs> and we're waiting for tacos. Failed that vlogging again. We had four tacos here. One of them was shrimp, and then oh, two of them were shrimp, two of them were beef. Yeah, I messed up a plate because it fell apart. I waited too long to eat it and it got a little soggy, but it was still really good. I enjoyed it. We got some salsas. Andre liked one of these. What is this one? Pistachio. This one's like a sweet one, but spicy. And this one is like a... I don't know. But uh, this is salsa verde. Salsa verde, but it's also spicy. And we got like two bowls of chips now. Andre also had some rice and beans over there, but it was all really good. Okay, guys, we just left. <laughs> okay, guys, we just left. So... I'm a little upset because I have two cards here, two rebates that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. One of them had the 50, so we went last time to like an Italian place and I tried to put it through for 50 and they were like, oh, only 41 went through, 41 like and some change. A 41 and some change and then I checked it online and it still said I had an 833 balance. So, 
I got that and then I got my second rebate card in the mail and that one was for ten dollars and I tried to use both today one for ten one for 833 and none of them worked none of them went through like I it, the month isn't even up so I shouldn't even have any fees it shouldn't be any less but he just he said that none of them even like went through thank you none of them even like went through so I'm like that's 18 18 dollars and 33 cents that is not working and it should be working like get my hat yeah i have your hat i got you babe okay so guys i'm gonna call them i don't know if they'll be open right now here you go i don't know if they'll be open are we for doing customer anything service. else right now or are we going home we're going home what time is it 8 29 that's it okay so yeah let's go home <laughs> it's not just kidding it's 9 26 um his car time was 8 29 so I thought I looked at that, but yeah, 926. So I don't know if I understood this correct, but I called. I didn't speak to like an actual agent. It was just like um, automated system, but they had frequently asked questions about how to use your cards at a restaurant. And it says that they automatically add 20%, which I'm thinking if I now have her in $10, maybe they try to do add 20% to that. So they would be $12. So maybe next time I should say, I don't know, like nine something. So then if they add 20%, it would be equal to $10. I don't know if that's how it works exactly, but I'm gonna try to use this somewhere else other than a restaurant, because the two places I've tried to use it were restaurants. So I guess I'll try to use some, it somewhere else and maybe it will work then, I have no idea, but it just, it's supposed to be working.